Hi everyone, welcome to the Droidji channel. Today's video will explain to you too many incorrect unlock attempts try again in 24 hours Samsung. Most Samsung users will set a Samsung phone lock screen password to protect personal privacy data and prevent unauthorized people from accessing Samsung phones. But if you forget the Samsung lock screen password and try too many wrong times, you may see a prompt to try again after 2 hours or 8 hours. No matter which situation you are in, you can watch this video to unlock try again after 24 hours on Samsung phone after too many unlock attempts. As you can see, today we will explain in detail how to unlock Samsung phone says too many incorrect unlock attempts try again in 24 hours. This video is applicable to Samsung mobile phone models including Samsung Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy Z Flip 5, Galaxy Z Fold 5, a series, and Galaxy S22 series. Please watch patiently and try the solution in this video. We have seen some forums, and some users took out their phones after a walk and were prompted with Samsung is locked for 24 hours after too many incorrect unlock attempts. Some users got the prompt Samsung too many incorrect unlock attempts try again in 24 hours after updating Samsung. Some users found that their Samsung phone showed Samsung phone locked for 2 hours due to too many unlock attempts after getting up. There are many Samsung users who encounter these problems. Based on these data, we have summarized several simple and efficient methods to unlock the phone lockout 24 hours after too many incorrect PIN attempts. When you encounter the problem of Samsung locked for 24 hours after too many incorrect unlock attempts, don't panic. You just need to patiently try the following methods to solve your problem. If the following methods do not work, you can try a few more times. We have experienced this situation. If you think this video is good, you can subscribe, like or leave a message to tell us which method helped you solve the problem. Method 1 is to use the Samsung Smart Lock function. There is a Smart Lock function on Samsung phones. The Smart Lock function can unlock the device when your phone prompts try again in 24 hours on Samsung phone after too many incorrect unlock attempts. If you want to use the Smart Lock feature, you must turn on the Smart Lock feature before locking the phone, otherwise it will not work. It allows the device owner to unlock the Samsung phone in a trusted location, near a trusted device, and on body detection. That is, if you have set smart lock to use your home address as a trusted place, you can take the phone home and as long as you are close to the address, the phone will automatically unlock without an unlock code. If you set up unlocking the Samsung phone near a trusted device, the locked Samsung phone will unlock near the trusted device. If you set on body detection, the locked Samsung phone can be unlocked normally as long as it is close to the body or the temperature reaches the unlocking standard. Method 2 is to use the Samsung Find My Phone service. In addition to the Smart Lock feature, Samsung also has a Samsung Find My Phone service. Unlike the Smart Lock feature, the Samsung Find My Phone service is a remote control of the Samsung phone. It can remotely delete the lock screen of the Samsung phone and delete all the data on the Samsung phone. To use the Samsung Find My Phone service to unlock too many unsuccessful attempts to unlock Samsung phone and it's locked for 24 hours. First, you need to log into your Samsung account on your phone and must have a Wi-Fi or mobile data connection. After the phone is connected to Wi-Fi or mobile data, please turn on your computer. Next, we need to use the computer to reset the phone password through Find My Phone. Please follow the steps below. Open the search engine on your computer and navigate to findmobile.samsung.com. Log into your Samsung account and password on the web login page. After logging in, you will enter a new interface. In the upper left corner of the new interface is your device information. Please confirm whether it is the Samsung phone that needs to delete data. If not, please change and select the device. In the upper right corner is the function area, which includes the delete data option, which will delete all data in the Samsung phone. Please click the delete data option. After clicking, you will see a new window and ask you to enter the verification code. Please follow the prompts to complete all steps. After completion, your Samsung phone will start the reset process. All screen locks on your phone, including pattern locks, pin codes, passwords, and biometric information will be deleted. Method 3 is to enter Google Find My Device. If you forget your Samsung account, you cannot use the Samsung Find My Phone service to bypass too many incorrect password attempts on Samsung. However, you can still use Google Find My Device to try to unlock your Samsung phone. First, you need to use a computer to visit google.com slash android slash device manager. In the Google Find My settings you need to log into your Google account and log into your Google account. In addition, you need to turn on the Samsung phone location and connect to a data network or Wi-Fi. After completing the above steps, please find and confirm your Samsung phone information on the computer screen. There will be three options on the left side of the computer screen, ring, lock, and erase. We need to use the erase function, which will completely clear the information on your Samsung phone. If there is data needed on your Samsung phone, please back up the data before erasing it. Next, please click Erase Device. After clicking, the page will jump and the login interface will appear. 
At this time, you need to log into your Google account again. Please enter your Google account and password and click confirm. After logging in, the page will jump back to the Google Find My Settings page again. Here, please click Erase Device again. Erase Device may require you to wait patiently for a while. While waiting for the erase, please pay attention to whether your Samsung phone is preparing or being reset. After the reset is completed, your Samsung phone will be displayed with the interface when you first open the phone when you bought the phone. After that, if you need to set a new Samsung lock screen password, please remember the password and write it down in a safe place. Method 4 is to restore the factory settings. This is the last method you can try, to restore the Samsung phone to factory settings. Restoring the factory settings will also erase all data on the phone, including the lock screen. This is the last method to unlock Samsung phone after too many incorrect unlock attempts. If you need the data on your Samsung phone, please back up the data before restoring the factory settings. Next, follow the steps below to restore the phone to factory settings. Connect your phone to the computer. Then, make sure your phone is turned off and wait for at least 30 seconds. Next, press the volume up button and the power button at the same time until you see the recovery mode screen. In the Samsung recovery screen, use the volume buttons to select wipe data slash factory reset and press the power button to confirm. Then, use the volume buttons to select factory reset and use the volume buttons to select the yes option to confirm. This will trigger the reset process, which will only take 2 to 3 seconds to complete. Once completed, it will take you back to the same recovery mode. Use the power button to select the reboot system now option. Finally, your phone will turn on and restart to the home screen, which will display the interface of the phone when you first turned it on when you bought it. At this time, your Samsung phone has erased all the data, which is consistent with the erase function in Google Find My Device and Samsung Find My Mobile Service, and the Samsung phone will be restored to normal use. Finally, please reset your Samsung phone password and save it in a safe place to reduce the risk of forgetting the Samsung phone password. Method 5 is to go to a Samsung service center. If you can't unlock your Samsung phone yourself, or you have tried the method but it doesn't work, you can try the method in the video a few more times. If it still doesn't work, we recommend that you take your phone to a Samsung service center and let the staff help you unlock Samsung phone when it says too many incorrect unlock attempts try again in 24 hours. Finally, I'll give you a small tip. You can set your password to be easy to remember or meaningful. If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like and share it and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the comment area. At the same time, if you think we need to improve, you can also tell us your opinions and suggestions in the comment area. Thank you. Wish you good luck.